Welcome back, Mission Driven Moms. Many times when people talk about life mission, there's a couple ways that they respond. If they really believe that life mission is really a thing and real, then they usually have one of two responses. One is, well, it sounds too hard and scary. And I talked about that in a previous post. This time I wanna address the second issue that people have when they know mission is real, but they're really not getting on board and going through the laws and living the laws like they should. It's because they think that they don't really need to. Like their response goes something like, oh, I, I totally got that. Yeah, I'm totally on the mission path, doing it. Things are going great. Now I wanna issue a word of warning here because if you've read The Mission Driven Life, if you haven't, go to missiondrivenmom.com and get it. But if you have, then you know some really serious concerns I have here about this that I address in chapter one. I tell the Greg Mortensen story about how I was, we were entranced by the three cups of tea and I bought tickets so that we could go hear him speak. I took my kids, they had their own copies of the book. We went to the book signing, we talked to him, we just were enamored with him. And then within a couple of years, it all came out that he was, had lied. He had exaggerated the story. It hadn't really happened like it had happened in the book. He hadn't built nearly as many schools as he claimed to have built. He hadn't been over there as many times. They weren't really all filled with children, et cetera, et cetera. He had used money that was supposed to be for fundraising for the kids and he had taken it and put it in some of it in his own bank account. You know, remind another story that, <laughs> reminds me of that I didn't talk about in the book is about Somali mom who did all this incredible work with, um, you know, to help girls who were being sex trafficked and prostituted and, and things like that. And yet, you know, it, it brought her into celebrity st you know, status and she raised millions of dollars, but she actually lied about her own past. When they went back into the villages where she grew up and talked to all the people that she knew, it wasn't like that at all. <laughs> and you know, she really loved being a celebrity. She lost her, her, her marriage over it. And she had other girls lie about their pasts. And here's the thing. They're not bad guys. Like these are people that really are doing really good things in the world. They really, and I think they're, they're good people. You know, I think they have really good intentions. I think that they want to do good. I think they really care. I think Greg Mortensen cares about those kids. I think Somali mom cares about her girls. Um, it's, it's not that they're evil. It's just that they're not prepared, right? And so when some of the fame comes and you know, when things aren't going as quickly as they want them to go, they cut corners and they decide that they don't have to actually tell the whole truth and they don't have to actually, you know, maybe other people give them those ideas. Maybe the temptation of more fame quicker or a best-selling book, or maybe the money is a, t is a temptation to them. And why? Because they don't have that foundation. They don't have a foundation in a relationship with God. They don't have the character that they need to have. They don't have commitment to the principles that they should have. And they're driven, they're achievers, they're hardworking, and they're willing to do really great things in the world, but they cut those corners and things just come crashing down. And you know, those two organizations are pretty much shut down now. No good can be done of all that they spent their lives creating because they, they ruined it through not being prepared and not living those first four laws of life mission. And so to the people who say, I don't really need the book. I don't really need, you know, the group. I don't really need a system or help or anything like that. Maybe you don't, maybe you're already living those four laws and you've already arrived and, and you're ready to go, but maybe you do. And, and I would <laughs> challenge you. I, I myself have started and stopped multiple projects. Now they were good for me. They were good experiences. I learned things by them. But on several occasions, I couldn't keep going because why? Because my house wasn't all the way in order yet. I had to go back and fix some things and work on some things and I wasn't prepared. So I did some good and I learned some things, but I couldn't, I couldn't be consistent with, with that work because I just wasn't ready. So my challenge to you is to really do a heartfelt evaluation of yourself of your life. 
Look closely at your health. Look closely at your faith. Look closely at your character. Look closely at your commitment to true principles, your marriage, and especially your personal education. You know, there are a lot of people that never make it as far as someone like Greg Mortensen made it because they, they didn't have the education, or if they did, that education didn't buoy up the work and didn't help them to continue on. So don't be too quick to say, I love mission, I'm all about it, I'm on the mission path, I'm good to go. And to think that you don't need those four laws or that you're completely thoroughly prepared. And remember too, it's just like I talk about in the book, you know, Willem gets this call, he's a pastor, he's doing incredible things and his faith really starts to waver. And he's gotta go back to those foundational laws. So even if it's true and you are on that mission path and you really are committed to principles and you have a pretty dang good education, go back to your foundation again. Strengthen it, make that a lifelong journey and then continue to answer the calls when they come. But don't be too quick to say, I've arrived, I'm there, I don't need that stuff anymore. And remember, the Mission Driven Life book the seven laws are there to help you. The Mission Driven Mom Mastermind Facebook group is there to help you. There are free resources that will get you on the path and help you see where you really are and what you really need to work on next. And we're a community there to offer support and help do all we can for you. So look inside, that's my challenge. Really evaluate, be honest, use the book, use the group, use those tools to keep working towards mission. And don't be one of those people that say, that's not for me because it is for you. God has a work for you. He has a call for you. And if you'll prepare yourself, you'll hear that call. Please go over to themissiondrivenmom.com and grab your copy of The Mission Driven Life if you don't already have one and get started on that journey. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe and share this if it was helpful and we'll see you next time.